What's going on Capricorn? How are you doing? Hope you're doing super well. This is the Autistic Mystic and this is going to be a reading for February 2023. So in this reading Capricorn, we're going to take a look at your overall general energy for February. We're going to take a look at some things you do not see coming and we're also going to get some advice from your angels and spirit guides and much more regarding February 2023 for you Capricorn. But before we begin this reading, as always, I do want to take a moment to let you know Capricorn that you are very welcome here in this space with me as we move through this reading, and I really do appreciate you in advance for taking the time to check this reading out, Capricorn. Now, if this general reading happens to resonate with you, Capricorn, for February, definitely smash that like button, subscribe down below if you have not already for future updates, that would also be greatly appreciated over here, Capricorn. But without further ado, I'm gonna pull the energy for February, 2023, and let's see what wants to come through for you. As always, I would like to thank the angels, the interdimensional beings, and the spirit guides who are overseeing this act of divination for the sign of Capricorn. Yeah, okay, let's see what we got. Okay, Capricorn, let's start this reading off for you with some pre-shuffled oracle cards from the universe for February. What energy do you need more of? What energy do you need to embody? The first one you have is a uh, Hilarion, uh, divine healing, okay? So this is about retreating into yourself, recharging your batteries, so to speak. Um, honor your sensitivity in February. Retreat to recharge and heal. Your light can support others. So don't think that you have to be the tough guy. Don't think that you have to be the tough person in February. There is something about like allowing yourself to feel your emotions. There's something here about like um, allowing yourself to to release something energetically. And that could be through some sort of like masculine action. Like sometimes you just need to like punch a pillow. I'm getting visions of you punching a pillow or like screaming into a pillow. Some sort of emotional release and honor how you feel is the most important thing is what I'm getting so far. You also have charity, prayer, and contemplation. Connect with heaven ask and you shall receive Capricorn here. So um, I am getting that there's gonna be a shift in your values when it comes to love. That's what, I'm, that's what I picked up on. There's something about like, the, like a visual of the two of cups popped in my head. And I feel like um, there's something here about asking for what you want in this life, but especially as it, when it comes to love and when it comes to relationships and, and that type of thing, you may be having a shift in what it is that you thought you wanted or being honest with yourself about it because what you've been trying up until this point has not been working. What I'm getting is some of you have been playing games with people or you've been, you're not the one initiating that, but there's someone around you in love that it's either going south right now or you can't let go of from the past that they're, they've been playing a lot of games with you. I'm, I'm honestly getting like games. Like they're, they're, someone's like feeding off your energy. This is what I'm getting, like energy vampire. Someone actually takes delight in your suffering to a certain degree. I'm not saying, I'm not getting like total psychopath, but it's like subtle, it's like passive aggressive, like weird shit like that, right? All right, then you have Lady Nada, Heart Awakening. Awaken to acceptance and divine love and give and receive in balance. So I feel whatever's happening here, there's something going on with your heart 
there's something going on with connection with other people. We're going to have to see as we go along. But your opportunity, Capricorn, is the Three of Swords. All right, this is your opportunity for February 2023. So with the Three of Swords being here, being here in your opportunity, it's almost to like wake up to, to the fact that maybe you're not happy right now. I don't care what's going on in your life. I do feel like there's something that needs to emotionally shift in your life. And this is going to be different for, for a lot of you. We're going to have to clarify what it's about. For some of you, this is letting go of a person though. That's for a lot of you. There's someone who you just can't get out of your head or you're with them, but, but you're starting to realize this is not what I signed up for, or this isn't doing it for me anymore. Okay. And your challenge Capricorn is the two of wands. This is your challenge for uh, February. So the two of wands is, is a visionary. It's also someone who can visualize their reality and bring things into creation. So it's interesting you have, you know, ask and you shall receive, but this is also playing it forward into the future, okay? It also talks about a safer option versus a riskier option in your challenge. So a lot of you are deciding like, do I let go of this person or do I move on to the future and kind of uh, go into the unknown? I think your biggest challenge is like, Something to do with like sitting with the fact that now in the present moment, as you're watching this in February, you may not be clear on what you want. And in this reading, I'm going to show you exactly how to get clear on that as we move through the reading, like, cause the advice is like, I'll show you how to get through this. But so, okay, we're going to clarify that in a minute. But then we go Capricorn here to your overall general energy for February 2023 is the eight of wands, the four of wands, and also the five of cups. I see there being some sort of like, some sort of quickening of uh, sadness, but I, I do feel like it has to do with other people. This is, this is either, this could be a friend group for some of you, right? Uh, this could be some sort of family unit or friend group. For a lot of you, this does have to do with a love relationship though. And there's going to be some sort of quickening right? The eight of wands is about communication that leads to some sort of sadness here when it comes to people that you have a lot of good emotions for. Okay. I'm getting like there, there's some sort of fallout basically. Um, <clears throat> so we're going to have to clarify what it's about more in the, in a second. Um, and then we go to what you don't see coming. You have the 10 of cups, the page of swords, the centerpiece to your reading, and you have the moon. So with this being what you don't see coming Capricorn for February, there's more questions than there are answers. You know, there's more questions here. Like the moon and the page of swords is, is like trying to get information because the 10 of cups is here. It has to do with your own, once again, emotional stability, something emotional. You're questioning your own emotions. You may be even wondering like, how do emotions work? How do I trust my emotional guidance system? Some of you may actually be cut off from your emotions to a certain degree. And so, but when you're cut off from your emotions, many times something extreme has to happen. It's not going to be that extreme for others of you, but like an inner thing where it's just like, this is, um, we're once again, we're going to have to really clarify what that's about in a moment, but here we go with your advice. When it comes to your advice, Capricorn for February, you have the queen of pentacles, you have the ace of wands, and you also have the seven of cups here in your advice from spirit. So there are definitely like, I think a lot of you are worried that you don't have to have it. Like you're trying to have it all figured out, right? Like you're, you're trying to be like, I want to be this type of person. This person is my type. This person is what I want. And some of you going through a painful experience may have just gained clarity about that. But for others of you though, Capricorn, the advice here is to do follow your emotional guidance system. The ace of wands to the queen of pentacles here is there something about you having to experiment in the physical realm to figure this out. Um, what it's almost like the frequency that I'm getting is like, a I think they call it like quantum dating or something where you like, you need to figure out who's your type of person and who's not when it comes to friends, when it comes to family, or when it comes to romance as well. The ace of wands is some sort of new beginning. It is some sort of like brilliant idea that you're meant to act on in the physical world with the queen of, um, pentacles. And that's how you get clear on your values. That's how you get clear on like, uh, what you want. Many of you are saying that chocolate ice cream is my favorite ice cream, but that's because you've never had like, you've never had vanilla blue sky. Like, so you don't, some of you may not even really, it's just like a lot of lack of clarity and a lot of somewhat confusion. So let's help to clear that up now and get into this reading. Sometimes you just need to sit with that, but we'll see what happens here. So 
The first thing that I want to clarify, and some of you may have thought, some of you are really bent up out of shape because you thought you were going to have a family with this person or you thought this person was really good on paper. There also is something here about, okay, Capricorn. There's something here about like what looks good on paper versus what feels good to your heart and your soul. There could be some sort of, I am honestly getting that like, yeah, because we're all conditioned to want certain things and uh, as spiritual as we are, sometimes we're not aware of why we want what we want. And sometimes it's coming from an inauthentic place. So just be aware of that. And so that's why this confusion arises, but it's all here to bring clarity. <clears throat> Why would, why is the three of swords here, Capricorn, for you in your opportunity? The first thing coming to my mind, Capricorn, is that um, the best thing that ever happened to me was having my heart broken because it had me like look at what I really want and look at my life uh, clearly. Um, the Three of Swords in your opportunity is clarified by the King of Wands, the Knight of Pentacles, and also the Five of Pentacles here. I am getting something a little bit different, and this is going to be not for all of you. For some of you, you're going to want to reflect on your behavior, and you're going to want to see like why... How am I ruining? How am I the one? Like, take responsibility. How am I the one for... How am I the one ruining all these relationships? Even if on the outside it seems like this person is so bad, it's not compatible, there is something about you taking a little bit of responsibility and, like, reflecting on, okay, like, how do I become a better version of myself going forward now? How do I change this? There is something to be said about that. But um, for others of you, though, if you don't resonate with that, um, there is something about someone who is just in and out, right? The King of Wands, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Five of Pentacles. There's something about slow-moving energy, but it's also fast. Like, you could have on and off things with someone. Like, one moment, it's like, oh my god, this is the best person ever. Another moment, it's like, oh, I'm going to improve myself to, like, try to be with you the right way, Capricorn. And this could be in, like, a friend group or romance, but it's getting something that's really inconsistent, so it's not really wise for you to invest in that anymore is what I'm getting, okay? Now let's see why the, um, uh, let's see why the five of cups is here. Why is the five of cups here in your overall general energy? Because something happens fast. Well, flew out of the deck faster than I could say fast. So, um, yeah, the five of cups is clarified by the three of swords. I really feel like, man. Something in February is throwing you for a loop. It could have been anything that I've already mentioned up until this point. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't, Capricorn, in this reading. But uh, let's keep going. Why is the five? Oh, Justice. Five of Cups is clarified with the Three of Swords and the Justice card here, Capricorn. Some of you... Okay, and I I'm going to be honest with you, Capricorn. And I hope that some of you are mature enough to take on this perspective because I am getting from a, for a percentage of you that uh, there is some sort of thing about karma. There is something about you getting a reflection of your own energy back, like in the shape of someone treating you badly because maybe you've also sent that out of your energy. One of the five laws of creation is what you put out is what you get back. And I honestly feel some of you are getting that. And to give you an example of like, it's not fun to look at, but like, let's just like one of my, like the first girlfriend I ever had in high school, it didn't go so well because I was putting out some sort of like indifferent kind of like apathetic energy towards this person. And so when that person then gives you the same reflection back, oftentimes you don't see it as a reflection of your own behavior, but I think it is. So whatever's going wrong in your love life, this is more for those of you with a love life problem, you need to look at the, the way that I'm, the way that I'm feeling, the way that this person is making me feel, how have I made them feel this way in the past? Or if it's not them, how have I made other people feel that way in the past? Can you honestly look at that? Because that seems to be going on here. But it's also confusing because, because I'm not saying that this is all your fault. There certainly is some sort of like shift uh, happening. Now, let's go ahead and see why the Two of Wands is here in your... Uh, your challenge, right? Like not being able to really see clearly as what you want in the future, having to make a big choice about someone. Let's see why the two of wands is here. 
Two of Wands is clarified by the Three of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune. Um, there's a destined relationship out there for you. There's a better group of people. There's I don't think you've met your tribe yet. And a lot of you are messed up because you feel like you've met your soul family and you're trying to force something that's not for you. <clears throat> what I'm getting from this is that you don't know who these people even are yet, or you could know them from a, you could know them from, from a distance. But um, and for a lot of you, this is even in a relationship. You have the the wheel of fortune and and the the three of uh, cups here, and this is literally not going to be for all of you clearly. But for some of you, Capricorn, like you realize, like I don't want to be like monogamous. I want like a I want like polyamory. Three you know three people on that card. Um, but that brings its own challenges and that's definitely not for all of you, but for some of you, because I'm just trying to figure out like, because there seemed to be a, a value difference, like what you thought you wanted now is beginning to change in what you don't see coming with the moon and the page of swords and the 10 of cups. Like, so I, I, there's, there's also something here Capricorn about like the way there, there I'm telling you, this is so deep. The reason why a lot of your relationships, friendships, um, even family things, but romantic things have not worked out until this point, or it's not working out, something's off, it's, it's because, and this is deep and most likely one of the most important things that I've said in this whole reading. So God bless you if you're here. The way that you show up in the beginning of a relationship is not actually completely true to who you really are. There's something about you not being upfront with people when you start the relationship. You try to hide certain things about yourself. You're not authentic. You try to mask. Even for me, the autistic mystic, like my whole life I was masking, masking, masking. So for me, that's even a struggle. But you want to look at what is the energy that you, that you convince someone that you are versus when the thing starts going, it starts to go badly. It's because maybe, and the problem with this is it's so deep that a lot of you don't even, your masking has become so uh, just the dominant state like of you. You've never had an experience where you unmasked. Every potential romantic relationship, most friendships, your family stuff, you're, ever since you were, I'm just getting a vision of ever since you were like six years old, you come at it the same way. You come at, and so some of you are even unaware of what the real frequency of you being authentic would even look like. You're not even aware of that. So how are you supposed to bring that to the table if you're not even aware of that? Okay. Now what I'm getting from this as well with the two of wands, the, 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 uh, wheel of fortune and the three of cups here, Capricorn, is that the universe is going to give you all the opportunities in the world to gain self-awareness. And many times the best way to gain the, the best way to gain awareness of yourself is through relationships because people can see you from the outside in. The objective observer always has the advantage. That's why when you watch me, part of, depending on your level of consciousness, the higher people will get a kick out of some of my own blind spots that I can't even see. That's why it's fun interacting with other people because we can all see each other's shadow. We can all see each other's shadow so clearly. It's hilarious besides the person who has the shadow, but they can also see your shadow. I can see your shadow and you could probably see mine and then you should be glad though because we'll all just be fine. So there's just a lot going on here. It's very like, it's very deep. So with that being said, let's go ahead and clarify why the moon is here in what you don't see coming, really. Well, okay, I mean, it's right next to the, with the, 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 the King of Cups and also the Two of Wands here. A lot of you definitely have a choice in love, but once again, you have Lady Nada Heart Awakening here and honor your own sensitivity with this. So there's something about really being, I, 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 the frequency that I'm getting from this is like you don't wanna, it's like a, you've stuffed all this, like let's say you have like a closet You've stuffed all your stuff so many years into the closet that you know once you open the closet, which could just simply be questioning, what do I really want? What's really gonna make me happy? It's just gonna fly out and, and like basically murk you. And so that's why the Three of Swords is here, is being comfortable with the uncomfortable. Um, so I don't know, let's also go ahead and get to your advice now. Let's go ahead and clarify why the Ace of Wands is here in your advice. Um, why is the Ace of Wands here in your advice, Capricorn, for February? Why 
They're not gonna like you. I know. I know. <laughs> okay. Um. Hmm. The Ace of Wands is clarified by the Nine of Pentacles, the Four of Wands, and also the Eight of Cups here. Um, yeah, for a period of time, I do feel like you disconnecting from some sort of group or some sort of person that you believe to be a soulmate, some person, some sort of person that you are not on the same page with, walking away and doing your own thing is your advice. Okay, the Eight of Cups is about walking away, the Nine of Pentacles is about being on your own, and it's the Ace of Wands to the Four of Wands here, so a new beginning when it comes to new people. There's meant to be new people in your life, once again, that's why your challenge is the Two of Wands waiting for the Three of, Pent for the three of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune. There is a soul family tribe, and we can have also many of these, by the way. As you shift your energy in the present moment, you then activate different timelines continuously, and that's why it can be very confusing. But what I'm getting from this is that you will get clarity. If this is how you feel right now, it's okay. But part of the problem is the reason why many of you have not gotten clarity and you, you kind of feel like you kind of feel like you're just spinning your wheels, you kind of feel like you're just stuck is because what you need to do is properly orient yourself towards your relationships where you honestly look at yourself when it comes to what energy am I giving out? And how is it returning to me in my relationships? Because a lot of you are not clear on that at all. And it, I could say it's not rocket science. It Well, kind of it is. Kind of it is in a vibrational world where all these factors come into play. So, with, But at the same time, Capricorn, um, have patience in the present moment. Have patience because in what you don't see coming, you have this two of wands. You have the two of wands also in your challenge. This is about like plotting your future and patience. But in the meantime... You have the Five of Cups, the Three of Swords, and also the Justice card. So with that being said, I know there's a lot going on. I would say tune into your emotions and just don't be afraid of what you find when you do. So with that being said, I'm going to conclude this reading, Capricorn. I hope that you enjoyed it, and I'll talk to you next time.